what are the the marks that are left on you by your experiences in year nine and Mm. after that in school so much more than what I thought I think I I just thought that you went through life and each year you change and your feelings change and your morals change and you grow up and you learn different things and you become a different person the older you get but really you are the same person and the the things that affected you in school and when you were young are who you are that is who you are um and i i never wanted to ever think about school again i never wanted to go back there and i never wanted to relive it or think about what happened i just wanted to remove that to almost the point where i've i've removed all the memories from my head of it I don't really remember much from it. And I've moved on thinking, I can just let that bit go and be the person that I am now because that's possible. But actually, the part that's struggle in this industry, the trusting people, letting people in, that's come from my school life. And those parts of me which find it hard to trust and all that is from school. So I think... What I've learned is what I wanted to do was go back to school and relive school and create new memories of it and have the best time ever and forget that anything bad ever happened. Um, But in reality, what I've realized is that I just have to accept that that did happen. And if if school life was any different, I would have probably been a complete different person now. So what I've had to try and do is not only bring it back into my brain, but put it in a positive way in my brain that the stuff at school happened for me to be who I am today. And that's why I can't just forget about that and can't move on with my life without realising the things that happened at school is what made me me. So it's been a weird journey, to be honest. I never thought I'd go back to school, but it's, it's going back there has really changed me, I think. Of any of those people who made your last few years at school horrible, have any of them reached out to you? Um, I've been talking to a guy that I was that was actually really nice to me in school, and um, and also a few people have messaged me that also weren't very nice to me at school, um, and I think. I I wanted to kind of have a party with all of us. I could remake the memories <laughs> of them and realise they're not horrible people as adults, you know. But also I was really anxious about this documentary because, one, I'd never really told my parents why I felt like I had had a bad time. And two, do the people at school who made me have a quite a rubbish time do they realize that they did that because I'm worried that they're going to watch it and be like we I didn't do that to her she's making it up and I'm a bit I I was a bit anxious about that so this is why I spoke to that guy who I was just saying about about it and he was saying no I, I do remember you having a tough time but you also had really good times and he's brought to my attention all the things that were amazing But I'd also just remove that from my memory as well. So I've been slowly getting back these little snippets of moments that were actually a beautiful thing as well. So it's been good to talk to him.